Don't you hate it when your paint gets all separated? And you want to shake it. And to do that, you would be doing this for over and over and over again. And some paint doesn't shake up very well, especially if you have paint like one that is notorious is Army Painter paint. It's notorious for coming uh, separated. So, uh, a lot of people use a jigsaw and uh, they put a a, a T-shank blade onto a, uh, a clamp, U-clamp, put the paint in it and do it that way. But I thought I could make something better. So this is something you buy off Amazon. It's got a little thread that screws in. Um, and this is for deep tissue massage and you use it to sort of massage your uh, muscles. It's not that kind of massager. All right. And uh, this is just a little cordless um, a jigsaw that I bought off Amazon as well too. The Black & Decker Cordless Jigsaw, which I'll post a link for. And uh, basically what I thought is, well, how can I attach my paint to this? So I built this little shuttle that kind of clicks on the end. And uh, it goes on here like this. It's got a cavity, and you see this cavity can actually take two different types of paint. It can take Citadel paint by going here, and actually that one sticks up a little bit. That one's going to be problematic, but I think I can get that in. Might be able to get it in this way. And it also takes... Uh, Vallejo paint goes in the, sh in the little shuttle like that. And this is a prototype, so there's a couple things I've learned in making this. I'll probably make a new one that's a little bit better. Works a little bit better, and it doesn't need to be this tall. I'm just checking the height of all the paint that I've got. So it's got a little bit of extra room. And this little tab, actually, this little, let's see why this little tab is supposed to be on the inside. Haha. -ha. I think that's supposed to go in there like that. Uh, it doesn't, but that'll work for now. I think I'm going to have to modify this a little bit so that it's a little bit, little bit more space on that side. But that'll fit. See, that fits nicely inside there. And this piece goes on top. All right, and this is going to close. And to keep it closed, I'm trying to think of what's the good mechanism. And I realized from another project that I 3D printed that... You know, that you could build. I built a, a cryptex and it had a, screw, a bunch of screw pieces. I thought, well, I could just use a thread. And, you know, it actually doesn't need to go on that far. And that's it. That is a lot easier. That's a lot easier than if I was to shake that by hand. All right, and you just pull it apart, and this piece will pop out. You don't need to pull it all the way apart, actually. That's the nice thing about it. And that is perfectly mixed. You can put some little balls in there to agitate it as well, too. And if I want to use, oh, let's say I want to do this Vallejo Air, I want to mix, I want to give that a little mix. Drop it in the shuttle. And see, so I don't need to put it on all the way. It holds pretty secure. You can actually feel the thread is actually working its way off. Okay, that one's shaking. Oh, want to do another one real quick. Army Painter Green. Army Painter Notorious for separating. Put that on the right way. So it's, not, it's not turning this time. And that'll come out and that'll be nicely fixed. There you go. So this is just a 3D printed STL file. You print it on any FDM printer. And uh, the final goal is to basically not have to use this piece here. Because these, these little tips actually cost quite a bit actually. I'm kind of surprised. It's just to be able to use this, basically put a washer on there and build this so that it sits in there with a washer. Possibly even come up with some scheme to put the washer, to actually embed the nut in the washer um, directly in the, uh, the, 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 um, the filament. It's possible to do that. You stop the print hat part way up, drop the washer in, and close it. So there you go. That's my, uh, needs a name I guess. The, uh, the paint bullet, 
or the paint suppressor. It looks kind of like a silencer. The paint assassin. <laughs> 